Hi, and welcome to another Honest Review. And today, as somebody who has zero ability in styling their own hair, I wanted to share with you why I'm so happy uh, with this new GHG hairbrush that I bought just a couple of weeks ago off of Amazon, £19.50. Um, I've got to say, it's the best hair styling device product that I have bought to date. I bought it on the advice of my fantastic hairdresser, Charmaine. And um, it was because we were talking when she was last here about how the, the difficulty that I have when I blow dry my hair. I've got thick hair, it's quite wavy. If I left it to dry on its own, it would dry curly, which, which sounds great, but there's also a fair amount of frizz when I leave it like that. Um, but it's also difficult for me to blow dry it straight. So usually what I would do is just rough dry it, you know, pull it with a brush and um, then use the hair straighteners, which can be quite drying on it. So she recommended that I get this brush. Now, because I've got longer hair, um, she told me to get the size three, which is 45 millimeter diameter. Um, you can get a size two brush, which is 35 millimeter and slightly cheaper. I think that comes in about 16 pounds 50. I've got links to the brushes on Amazon if you wanna check them out yourself. And for short hair, there's a size one um, brush as well. So um, they've got different brushes to suit different hair lengths. And the great thing about them is they've got this uh, cylinder in the middle, the ceramic cylinder that heats up when you start um, styling with your hair dryer. That not only helps you to dry your hair more quickly, um, but I think it also gives you a more polished result. So you can just use it to pull the hair straight as you dry, or um, as I've done earlier today, you can use it to curl as well. Um, and you just get a lovely result from that. Now, when I say that I have no ability to style my own hair, I mean, I'm talking, when you give me a hairbrush and a hairdryer, I'm like a rabbit in the headlights. I have no idea what direction I'm going in or why, or what's gonna happen when I get there. Um, I just, you know, start brushing and flicking and going all in the wrong direction. So to show you <laughs> that you can't really go wrong, here's some footage of me just styling my hair the other day, styling loosely, um, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Right, this is where we're at. <laughs> Um, now you can see, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. The brush was going in every direction and still it's come out well. Um, so what I'm gonna try and do now is just dry it off. I've got the tip back on, found it. And um, I'm just gonna try and, uh, actually I don't know what I'm gonna try and do. I'm just gonna finish off getting it absolutely dry and then I'm gonna try and get a little bit of a a swish on here, let's start with that. I mean, talk about amateur hour. But I just wanna prove that if I can get a result out of this, I think we'll all agree anybody can. We have swishing. Let's do it this side, we need to put the hair dryer down. Do what I'm doing. And I'm trying to flatten what I did earlier because I went both ways. But generally, with my hair, I just like to try and flatten it down, get it straight, and kink it out a bit at the bottom. Somewhere, someday, some GHG stylist is going to watch this video and just recoil in horror. But this thing is foolproof. There we go. There is the amateur hour blow dry. And that's not bad, is it? There's no fly away. That's what I love about it. It's just, you know, it has straightened it, but with a bit of volume as well. You know, I need to work on the curl at the front. 
I understand this, but not bad. So that was me just literally sort of brushing at my hair with um, the, the ceramic brush. And even that in itself just helped to smooth it out, even though I wasn't doing a lot of um, directing and curling under and getting that right. You know, I've got a lot to learn. Um, but today, you know, I've had a couple of weeks practice with it. I'm getting better. Um, so today I mainly let my hair dry and then I just curled out the ends with this and held the dryer on. A little bit of footage there to show you. Um, and that just, again, just helps you to get a nice polished result um, when you're curling your hair. And it, you know, if somebody like me can do it, my goodness, you surely can. So um, yeah, for 19 pounds 50, I think that this brush gives you so much considering what you can spend on the market on hairstyling products and devices at the moment. Um, this has been, yeah, like I said earlier, probably my best hair purchase to date. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, there are loads more like it on the channel. So I hope you get a chance to check it out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.